Fest tomorrow and I can go home and finally enjoy vacation and stop thinking about track and goals. I feel like you're evolving as an athlete. Do you feel so? Um, I mean, I would say so. I mean, I jumped to a whole new training group last year. I'm learning a whole lot. I'm doing different things that I've done my whole entire career. Yeah. And, you know, I am, you know, I, let's see, like, I'm super young. You know, I've done yeah. a lot of great things yeah. starting at 19 and I'm, you know, three years Two years later, 21. Yeah. And yeah, so I think I'm definitely evolving as an athlete because every year you're going to learn something new. Every year you're going to go through something different. And I am just thankful that I have Bobby and I have my teammates and just my whole entire support group to help me just throughout these whole, you know, next couple of years of me in track and field. Because every year is not going to be the same, you know. For sure. I feel like that's one thing that the track world kind of expects at time. It's like, yeah, she started here, so it's going to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the case. And yeah, same for the fans as well. Yeah. Things happen, things change. I still feel like I'm in a great position right now and so I mean I'm happy with this all. So you don't have many of those bonds ones but what was, what's your biggest takeaway from this meet? Um let's see I feel like I just learned today that I could set you know I'm okay with where I'm at. I yeah. feel like the semi-finals kind of was a weird race for me, a very weird race. Yes, yes. I dang near almost didn't make the final. Um, yes. And I just think from that race, I kind of was like, all right, I'm not putting myself in that position again. And I think that's the reason why I went out so fast. Uh, but I mean, nothing that was outside of my capabilities. I think, you know, at the end, obviously, going after the six flat basically is yeah. really fast. And yeah. I'm still running with really incredible athletes. That's why they were still with me the yeah. whole entire race. And so yeah. I'm not upset with it at all. But um, yeah, I'm just. Be a little more settled. Yeah. Uh, listen to Bobby a little more, <laughs> and you know, just, just you know, do what I usually do. For sure. And last thing, we're proud of you. First of all, super okay, proud of you. Yeah. What about the spice? Who, who did the spice? What did you? I did not. This would have taken me a million and one years. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm so bad. I definitely forgot his name. But okay. someone out in LA did okay. it for me. Okay. Um, but they were approved by Nike, so I guess that was pretty helpful. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just thought about it last minute. I was like, hmm. What can I do to be different? Yeah. Who's gonna have dazzled spikes? No one. Literally. So I just wanted to do that and have fun a little bit. You're the first to do it, girl. We ain't gonna forget it. I know. Someone already told me that they're gonna do it for the next spike. So I was like, oh, okay, great. I love it. <laughs> Second. <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah. I'm super proud of you. No problem. Thank you. 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 Coming in, Bobby said you may not run. Sorry. Can you talk about the decision? Do you think Bobby said you may not run and you decided to run nationals? What was your mind? What was your thinking about that coming in? Um, well, I mean, we're going to run the nationals regardless, whether it's 15, the 8, 4, we're going to run regardless, just to really get a need to get some you know, competitiveness in. Uh, but coming into Worlds, I mean, this whole year has been a lot for me. I've just been, had a whole lot of things on my plate. Um, and so I think, as I've said multiple times, it's like the past three years, two years for me have been a lot. A lot of transitions, a lot of just adjusting, just, you know, a lot of things happening at basically, you know, at one time. And so, you know, Bobby knows what's going on and he just wanted to make sure that my mental was fine. And uh, he knows, obviously, how everyone, you know, what everyone expects from me or what they, you know, wish to see from me. And so, I mean, he just wanted to take that pressure off of me and just let me, you know, do what I could because this sport is very long. We have many years ahead of us. And I mean, possibly taking a year off wasn't gonna be that big of a deal, but he just wanted to make sure I was okay before, you know, going out there, and, you know. Handling the world once again. When did you decide to actually compete? Um, I don't know. I don't have a date in mind, but. Um, your, your first loss as a pro, does that take some pressure off? First loss as a pro? Yeah. That's not Eight, true. 800, 800. Uh, actually, I lost in the semis, so I got second. Forgot? Well, hey, you made your final. You don't count that one. First, okay. Well, that shows your competitive nature, but. Yeah, how do you. I mean, I feel fine. I'm not upset with it at all. I. Um, Learned my lesson in the semis. I, you know, I always thought like the 800 for the women's was a little, a little bit more, you know, settled and not as hectic as men's usually are. But semifinals changed my mind for sure. I dang near got beat up, but I mean, that kind of just ticked me off just a little bit and just made me, made me want to put myself in a really a better position to where I was already out and outside of the pack, which is kind of similar to what I usually do. Um, just so I wouldn't be in trouble the whole entire time. So I wanted to do that. Um, Obviously, the field was coming out with me, so the pace was pretty fast for the first 200. But I wanted to make sure I still kept that momentum going into the, uh, you know, the 400, and turned out to be 56. Wasn't expecting to go that fast, but I mean, you can't take time away, so I just had to keep on trucking, and we just pushed as hard as we could until the end. In hindsight, do you think it was too fast? 
Um, I think I could have went a little slower, yeah, for sure. And you said you couldn't wait to get on vacation after this. Did you enjoy any part of this experience at Red Bus? Did I enjoy a lot of this experience? Like, did you, I mean, did you, did you enjoy any parts? It seems like it's something you kind of had to endure as opposed to, you know. Um, I think I, um, let's see. I put myself in a position to where I was able to enjoy it a little more. I mean, coming to this meet, I kind of, you know, the world was already talking about me, whether or not I was coming, you know, what is Bobby doing? What is the thing doing? The thing's gonna lose, the thing's gonna win. You know, all these things happening. So, I mean, for that reason, I deleted social media. I have not seen anything um, for the past, like, three weeks, just to kind of help me enjoy where I'm at a little more. Um, and I think that was just this whole year, honestly, like, where, you know, I'm obviously in a new training group, I'm doing things different when it comes to competing, when it comes to just training. And obviously no one really gets to see the insides of things, and so they just come up with their own assumptions and their own ideas and, you know, put things out in their own perspective. You know, they don't really know what's happening. And of course, that's gonna bother us athletes. It's like, you guys like, I mean, like, what do you guys expect from us? You know, and most of the time it's like, we wanna enjoy what we're doing, we wanna enjoy where we're at, but to a certain extent, it kind of just makes us lose, like, kind of heart for the sport. Because it's like, dang, are we ever going to be good enough? You know, like, are we ever going to be okay? Are you guys all, you know, obviously there's people out there that's going to love you for whatever you do. But, you know, I just like, people can just take a chill pill sometimes. Just, you know, let us do our thing and, you know, just, I don't know, let us be athletes. You, Sorry, okay. No, I was just saying, like, I just like the world expects so much, even while they give us so much. And it's just like, okay, you want us to be good or do you want us to be mid? Like, what's, what do you guys really want? Um, I mean, I feel like it's just doing things that I've been doing. I've deleted social media. I've avoided media for the past two races. Uh, finally talking to you guys now. Um, but I mean, I don't know. It's something I'm just going to have to learn with as I go. I mean, I feel like just because I got bronze today, that's not going to take anything away from, you know, my resume. It's, gonna take any, it's not going to take anything away from what people expect from me or what they think about me. Um, so, I mean, just taking it day by day. This is a growing experience. I started off really well, super young, so I mean, it's always going to be on my plate, no matter how far I go in the sport, so I mean, just, I don't know, taking it day by day, it's a learning process, I won't find the answer tomorrow, probably not the next day, probably not even next year, but I mean, we'll just see as they, as, you know, as we progress. Vacation starts tomorrow? Man, vacation starts right now, <laughs> right after that race. Where are you done. going? Um, I have no idea, but I would definitely not tell you guys. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Are you all going to get like Formula Kersey back going? Yeah, slow down significantly or leading up to yeah, championships. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I feel like as, so we were, we had plans for the, for the page, uh, but things didn't really play out. Obviously we started really late with the whole idea, but um, I think next year we will put ourselves in a better position, but obviously when the season starts kicking up into its championship season, like no one, we didn't have anyone professional to take over the page. So, I mean, we couldn't really do it, you know, as individually. So I think next year going into, we probably will make sure that we have that set up going into the season because we definitely have a lot of followers. I think we're at like 6,000 or something like that. So I'm holding you to it. Hey, don't hold me. Hold formula, Kersey. We're with Bobby, nine. When Bobby talks to the LA Times and says, hey, you're mulling Sorry. skipping worlds, like, did he tell you he's going to say that? Or how do you find out about that story? Because it seems like it lumped a lot of attention on you um, when you got the dinner. I mean, whether Bobby told me, he didn't tell me. I mean, like, I knew. But, like, it doesn't matter if we had a conversation or not. The world is still going to talk about me because I'm the athlete, you know, obviously. It's, it's both of us in this. We're a team. So, I mean... It was going to happen regardless where it was still going to be a really big conversation as you know i am the reigning olympic and world champion at 800 so i mean it was going to be there regardless so um i don't think it was something that would have been a different uh, situation and what was the main reason for you considering not running this week um i don't know i just feel like i've been going through a lot so i mean not just this year but the past two years there's been no break for me um college to professional so then moving to LA, like it's it's a lot. And I don't think any one athlete has really done all that in the past couple of years. And so it's, it's a lot to handle, especially at a super young age and not really having, um, you know, the whole world to help me through this whole thing. You know, it's just me and, you know, my family and my support system. And so it's still a lot. And I'm still trying to train to be the best athlete. It's like, there's a lot going on. You know, it's not, it's not easy. It's been a lot with, you know, Olympics, Worlds, Worlds. Exactly, yeah. Uh, 
what, I guess when you accomplish the gold medal, the world championship medal, the American record, I guess, what is it that excites you, I guess, right now in this sport? Um, um, I don't know. I feel like I was definitely fighting to find the excitement this, this go around. I mean, even last year, I was running with a messed up hip and being that I just won the Olympics the year before, I'm like, oh God, I have to win. Like, what's like, I like I want to win. And also like the world is starts to win as well. And I think this year, um, I've kind of, I've just been more mellow. You know, I, I felt pretty satisfied with where I was at. Like, just like, you know, chill. I felt as I did going into Tokyo where I was just the newbie, you know, no one was really expecting me to win, but they were just like, wow, she's so good. She had a really great year. I felt that th that way this year, but I mean, I don't know. I kind of just fought really hard just to kind of get my groove going and just to really resonate with the fact that I am competing at Worlds. You know, it's been more so like, geez, it's been a long week and a half. I'm ready to go home more than I'm so ready to compete. Like I'm ready to come and feel, you know, it's been just a different experience. And I think it just comes with the years. Every year is different, like I said. And so, yeah, this year wasn't uh, my favorite, but we'll see what happens in the, in the future. All right, thanks everyone. Yeah. Well, thank